All right, Python on hardware news time. Blinka, blinka, blinka. It's the blinking news. Okay, you want to? Yeah, this snake week. Snake our way through it. Yeah, this week we have the CircuitPython R1 release candidate zero. It's out now. A couple things that change fix the initialization of onboard NeoPixels. Yeah, we have some wrong math. We've updated um, ULabs, a bunch of NeoPixel fixes. Um, we're getting really close to releasing 6.1, which is going to add so much ESP32 S2 stuff. Um, we have added more, you know, uh, sleep modes. We've um, added a couple new boards. Uh, good stuff. We're just slowly making our way. We're doing a lot of bug fixes. Um, so, folks, if you have a Circuit Python board and you're running 6.1 RC0 and there's a bug in it, please open up an issue. We're doing a big bug hunt right now. Blinka is eating as many bugs as possible. Yeah. Um, and then we did it. Um, it's a minor update, but it's actually a big deal because we wanted to have text about what is Blinka. So the .org site slash Blinka has an explanation about what the CircuitPython Blinka compatibility layer is for uh, single board computers. And we summarize it as so. Blinka brings CircuitPython APIs and therefore CircuitPython libraries to single board computers, SPCs, and is a pip installable Python library that runs in a normal desktop Python. The CircuitPython runtime isn't used. CircuitPython libraries can also be installed via pip. Cool so stuff. Check out the guide for more details. And um, that's the distinction, but they are related. So that's how you know. Um, CircuitPython 2021 entries, if you haven't sent in, please do. Um, we have the latest post and a kickoff post. This is basically what do you want to see in CircuitPython in 2021? Yeah, it's been a couple of years. Um, CircuitPython has gotten really mature. Um, you know, We're adding more and more chips. We're adding more and more support. Um, I like that we're getting to a lot of the things that people have wanted for a while, like sleep modes. We actually have a, a sleep system, like a way that we manage deep sleep and light sleep in CircuitPython now um, that was really important for the MagTag. That was kind of the driving force behind it. We also have um, expressive chip support now, Tensilica, which is super cool, and um, more chips coming. A lot more Blinka boards came in. So I feel like we're getting in a really good spot when it comes to like maturity, but is there other stuff you want to do? Are there th projects you can't build um, that you would like to with CircuitPython or you want to show off a project you did build and you're proud of? Um, the 2021 post is a great place to put it. Good job, Scott. Streams current work on Discusses CircuitPython 21, uh, 2021. And then you can check out all the different projects that we have. This Art, is Woven user Light. user interfaces. Yeah. Watches. NeoPixels. Chuck Yeager. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't even know. Software defined radio. These are cool projects. Yeah, Button this is boards. smart pill cabinet. Ooh, this neat. is Open telegram. source intercom. This was cool. This, somebody yeah. built an intercom in their house. All about micro Python and a bunch of like cool Python things. I, I thought these were neat. Some Lua to Python conversion. Yeah. And I did uh, like, uh, speaking of Hackaday, there was a neat article about the shell and microcontroller programming. Uh, using REPL. So as more scripting languages get the microcontrollers, you're going to see more articles like this because a lot of people are like, whoa, I can use a REPL on a microcontroller now. Um, you can also check out there's... Some machine learning projects, yeah. Python tutorials and libraries. It's not just Python on hardware. It's also just like Python. We're coming soon. We new have stuff, new guides. learning guides. We are so close to 300 libraries. We're up to 290. Oh, wow. We're going to hit 300 in like we're a gonna, week or two. We're going to hit 300. And then yeah. we have upcoming events. Uh, Lady is doing a talk about Blinka at LinuxConf AU, and then we have Pi Cascades, Open Hardware Summit, PyCon, and more. And that's the Python on Hardware News this week. Blinka, Blinka.